Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. That's all I love. As a person who respects all cultures, happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Gracias. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so my name is Daniel P. Severa, and I work for a community-based organization as well as a activist against domestic violence because I am a survivor. I have not experienced heavy domestic violence, but experienced verbal and emotional abuse, which is different from physical abuse because if the verbal is not written, it is not proof. It is words versus words to cover up statements and reasons. My grandma and auntie would influence other family members and people from my old church to embarrass me in public and gossip to force me to listen to negative comments like, you're not worthy enough to work in City Hall. This ain't City Hall where I'm standing. I should live off welfare my whole life. As a child, you know too much. My old pastor told me, if I lose my church, I will lose my faith. I felt as I should not have any ambition. When I stood for myself, they would guilt me with my games, so I would not fight, fly, freeze, or frown. My situation might not seem serious because my grandma and auntie do not live in the same household. And nothing physical happened. But in front of other people got a lot of negativity in my ears. Especially when many of the men were bystanders. My family was bullying me. When I was attending my own church, the members would control my feelings with power and control. Not to be happy, sad, depressed, you talk too much, why are you quiet? They would anger me, but I'm not allowed to be mad. They yell or necessarily be detective to the point I'm not allowed to speak up for myself. Like I'm a slave. The stress got so heavy that I tried to revenge, but I got into a major problem. I got into depression, but nobody wanted me to be sad. People would disrespect me, but I can't disrespect myself. I attempted suicide, but nobody wanted me to die. It is to the point that I felt I emotionally and mentally lost my voice. Since my family do not want me to speak up for myself, I will use my voice for victims and survivors to end this modern day family household slavery. Because based on my faith, Proverbs 31 8 of yeah. easy to read virgin states speak up for people cannot speak for themselves. Yeah. Help people who are in trouble. So God bless everybody in Jesus' name and dear God. Amen. Amen.